Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this month's top five camp build. You may be a little bit confused, there was the top five the other day, but that was the weekly, and this time round, it is the monthly. And this month's competition was all themed around prefabs. I didn't give any set rules, all I said was be creative, you can have multiple prefabs, and it must be the main feature of the camp. The prize was meant to be the store bundle, however, there wasn't a new store bundle this month, so instead we're going to be giving away 1,000 atoms. So with that all being said, this is this month's top five camp builds if you enjoy hit that like button make sure to be subscribed and help fund this here is a word from today's channel sponsor Ladies and gentlemen, you all like and enjoy building your own camps, but how would you like to create your own games? Well, today's channel sponsor is Yahaha Studio, a new user-generated content creation platform for 3D multiplayer interactive experiences. You can build the creation without any coding experience or server knowledge. Simply use the components and smart assets in the studio to make your dream game. And the really cool thing is there is millions of ready to use 3D assets available and the cool thing about them is you don't have to download each and every one. It's all stored on the cloud so you just use whichever ones you want in your game. And the other amazing thing, when your work is done, you can easily publish your creation to Yaha cross-platform app, mobile and PC, where other players can discover your work and join to play. So if you're interested in making your own game, click on the link down in the description or pin comment and get creating today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, up at number five this time round is going to be El Fuego with his Settlers Outpost. This one was built in a really, really strong location. Really enjoy this one and have thrown in a little bit of different decorations going around. You've got the water mill on the right. You've got a outpost on the left hand side. And as you can see, they've actually built into the water a little bit, placing that prefab down there to create this platform. And on top of that, they've also built on top of the prefab, giving a little bit more detail and stuff like that, which I really enjoyed. And also, if you can see there is a cool little Korean type of idea going on on the right hand side so awesome idea with that it looks really good and really well done another cool feature of this location is the fact it does have some NPCs roaming about which always adds a little bit of life to the camp and stuff like that so awesome work with that but overall really solid camp I thought it was very law friendly very realistic looks awesome at night with all the lighting going on as you can see now that looks fantastic really enjoyed it and then how you've decorated it as well like every it's something that I see at every single top five where I love this type of thing. I love it when people fill in every single gap you can. You've got stuff crammed into each and every corner. There's no emptiness. There's no like areas where you look at and go, oh, I feel like something should be there. Everything's literally filled in. The only camps, in my opinion, that really look good when they are minimalistic and sim like simplistic is modern builds. Modern builds look great when they're nice and open, not cluttered, whereas these type of builds, nice, scrappy, law-friendly build, always look best when they're filled with as much junk as possible. So if you're building one, you've built it too big and it's empty, make it a little bit smaller, throw in a little bit more scrap, and it will give it a bit more of a law-friendly vibe. So awesome job of that. And cool idea throwing in these kind of like roof pieces and stuff that you've glitched in there to kind of create your own little balconies on top of the makeshift mansion i thought it was really good and looked really just it was a nice added touch a nice little attention to detail same as that pumpkin which you can see at the bottom of the screen there so yeah all around awesome job el fuego congratulations on number five this week now coming in at number four this week we have Buzz brain. I keep saying this week, even though it's the monthly, but it's just what I'm used to, so apologies for that. But anyways, this is a build by Fuzzbrain, and what Fuzzbrain's gone for is using the trailer prefab, which you can see on the right-hand side. Now, to add to the trailer prefab, what Fuzzbrain has done, this will give him a bit of extra marks. Not only did he place down a prefab, decorate and stuff, but he also built around it, adding to the prefab, and also on top of it, as you can see here. There was a couple of people that got involved this week, and I felt just like they kind of didn't do as much as I would like to see with the prefab but this is one that I really enjoyed and thought looked really good so here's Fuzzbrains basically turned it into like a little settlement type of thing and I said in the video comments and I still think this now that when you look at it you can actually imagine this kind of being a location in the game obviously take away the vendor or something like that or replace it with something but other than that like it looks like a genuinely law-friendly realistic uh, kind of like camp that you would see in the game like if it was a real 
in-game location. But yeah, very nicely decorated. Again, lots of stuff all dotted around there, filling in all the spaces, no emptiness, nothing like that. It's a nice location as well, very like kind of close to the cliff and stuff like that, giving a nice bit of kind of texture and a bit of working with the environment there with the trees and everything dotted around as well. Looks good. And inside as well, it's like a realistic kind of lived-in location. The bed's at a bit of an angle, it's a little bit messy. You've got the suitcase underneath. Even the like bits of furniture aren't perfect. They're a little bit of an angle and stuff and I feel like that's a nice little attention to detail that some people do to make things look more realistic rather than just everything being square neat and tidy so awesome job of that nice mergers with the fish as well put them on the countertops and the mushroom and the bowl and stuff like that as well all adds up and looks really good so awesome job at number four this week fuzz brain now coming in at number three this month is going to be Nena Alabaster and this one is a really really good one. Oh, sorry Nina sorry I've said it wrong I'm sorry about that but yeah this one is a really cool one as well. So what uh, Nina has done is actually used two different prefabs in her one where she has the uh, trailer on the right hand side and then has the barn on the middle so it kind of created like this kind of barn settlement type of vibe and what you did with the vehicles and stuff out front I thought was a really cool idea it actually made it like a proper lived in space that and the fact you've got so many actors or npcs maybe possibly thrown in there although definitely not with them sideburns i definitely yeah that's an actor um but it looked really good the use of all the actors the use of the vehicles creating this kind of lived in environment creating and adding to that settlement idea i thought it looked really good again decorating absolutely absolutely on point lots of law friendly uh, items there i think all the builds this week i, I don't know what it is maybe it's prefabs just because all the prefabs are quite rustic looking, but there, here's a little bit of a zoomed out picture. This is what just looked really good for me, I thought. You've got the cool vendor glitching going on here. Awesome job with that. Then you've got like the truck there. You've got the actual truck bed over here. You've got the uh, cart over there as well. And then look at it at night as well. Nice little bit of uh, pink and blue lighting from the Kill Laugh Love signs. I think that was actually the name of the uh, camp build as well. But the one other thing that I really did appreciate about this was the use of the foundations, like adding to the prefabs. You can do this. A lot of people do complain, but it is actually possible to get your foundations right up against the prefabs if you just play around with them. A little bit place one uh, foundation like a decent bit away like a nice foundation gap and then just snap the foundation in there get it as close as possible and it is doable so there you go a nice little tip there and really well decorated inside the barn this is actually my favorite bit i liked how you used the hair bales and actually use it as a stage as well as seats and stuff as well thought that all worked really good like there you go there's seats at the back as well as the uh, um uh, what they're called again barrels <laughs> forgot the name of a barrel jesus um but the barrels getting used as seats and stuff as well all around just really solid camp really enjoyed it nina so thank you very much for getting involved and congratulations on number three this month all right then coming in at number two this month round is going to be kalari builds and i thought kalari absolutely nailed it with this one this was a really tough one it took us a little bit of thinking between this one and number one to decide who was going to be the winner but i decided to go with kalari at number two and you'll find out who's at number one in a minute but for now let's focus on kalari's build i thought it was really really good i thought it was really well done all based around the red rocket prefab which you can see at the bottom but i thought it was really well done i thought i loved the idea of kind of throwing this wall in around it and then also you've got the red rocket there in the middle that you've also built on top of as well as around which I thought was a really cool touch I thought it worked really well and I like the actual use you didn't see it properly there but there's like the wall and the defensive and other um, platforms that you get on the defense um category i thought they looked really good how it was worked in and you've got like a doorway glitched in there and stuff as well nice location choice here you've got a bunch of junk dot around as well adding to the kind of law friendly scrappy design of the place as well i feel like that's something that always helps these type of builds if you pick a location that already has a bunch of junk in it it's going to add to the vibe of the place make it look very uh, a lot more realistic and stuff like that so great job of that nicely done in here as well i like the way you've set it all up with the display cases you've got the bed in the corner the power armor display then you've got these walls coming through here as well which kind of helps divide the room up a little bit and give it a bit more of a unique look rather than that default like interior of the red rocket garage but here's a little bit of the overview of it here i thought it looked really good it is a great location over in the forest area if you don't know where it is definitely try and find out and check it out i could point you in the right direction but it would 
basically just follow that that road that goes through the entire forest and eventually you'll come to it because it's there near the bend type thing but that's the best way i can describe it at the moment but yeah really good solid build kalari thank you very much for getting involved and congratulations on number two this month all right guys at number one this month and the winner of this uh, month's competition is gonna be nukes black thumb with this absolutely insane build it looks uh, it looks just brilliant i was gonna say absolutely again but i'm not gonna but yeah it looks really cool the lighting is phenomenal the location choice in the ash heap with that kind of grimy dusty feel to it and stuff really helped the actual like visuals of the place i thought Great idea using the skulls as this kind of like pathway leading up to it. I thought that looked brilliant. The tree looks great in there as well. Really fits the vibe of this prison. But this is all based on the Blood Eagle Nest, which you can see at the bottom. And then to add and create this whole design with the like hanging prison cell things, as well as the prisons at the bottom, the middle and the top, like the very unique design of a prison, I thought was really creative, really unique. And I absolutely loved it. But yeah, like I say, the lighting is phenomenal just an overall build I just thought was really cool and I thought that's what made it really stand out this week that's what made it number one for me it was very unique very creative very different and just had this really strong character to it uh, which just I thought kind of pushed it a bit further in my eyes to create and make it that number one I just thought it looked absolutely brilliant how it was done so many skulls as well fitting in with that blood eagle vibe I love that and yeah just kind of adds a good bit of a kind of dark view on this prison like how many people are the killer here what's going on here what kind of dark dodgy stuff is happening i don't know but it really adds to that story and stuff like that but that's why i really loved it i thought overall it looked brilliant i like the idea of this kind of vertical prison i thought that was very different this looks cool as well with all the trees around it as well you've got like this kind of hidden little shack type of thing with the power armor in and great job with the uh, visuals and the recording of it as well i thought that looked really cool but yeah overall really really solid build absolutely loved it nukes so congratulations on number one and congratulations on winning this month's competition i'll be in touch shortly with everything to find out your details and stuff and send you over the money for some atoms but this looks absolutely brilliant love that and i love the actual use of the uh, trap uh the, what they call the punji boards along the top there to actually make the cranes i thought it was a really cool idea so really awesome job with that like it actually it looks like what the heck like what is oh it's the bone chimes that's what it is i was wondering what that was but yeah looks phenomenal brilliant job matt and that, ladies and gentlemen, is this month's top five camp builds. It was a very cool, very tough week, really, to be building around just the idea of literally all it was was prefabs. Nothing else, not a theme, nothing like proper. The, the theme literally was just prefabs. So it was quite a tough one to go off, but I thought you guys came up with some really good ideas. So thank you very much for that. Make sure to check out the sponsor as well, guys. As long as these sponsors keep coming in, I'll be able to continue doing these monthlies where I'm giving it away. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to do a little bit more rather than just the 1,000 atoms of the bundles here. But I just think it adds a little bit more excitement and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Now a quick little shout out to everyone that got involved. We've got Tofa, Wing, Hitbit, uh, Kalari Builds, Dak of the Wanderer, Taylor Maid, uh, Destroyer of Time, Purple Hairs, Nukes Black Thumb, uh, Elf Wago, Goldfinger76. Now, Goldfinger76, you were actually like joint number five, but because of the way it was recording, so it was going to be very hard for me to show it off. So I'm sorry I didn't uh, put you in there, but all, either way, brilliant build, mate. Really enjoyed that. Uh, Nena, uh, Nina Alabaster, sorry. Um, and Skate 71, Morpheus GI, Fuzzbrain, Moonlight Cowboy, Lady H, Your Chaos. And that is everyone, guys. Thank you very much. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.